latent superstition in its many manifestations. Even though it was me who chose to debunk folklore and mysticism, little did I know I'd end up being labeled as Patrick Galloway, the man with endless occult knowledge. Before I knew it, people all over the world paid me to investigate all kinds of weird things. <laughs> as long as they paid me, I'd look into it. Funny thing though, the more I saw, the more I believe there are forces beyond our control. Creatures not explainable in any human terms. Things that make my skin crawl. I fled from Ireland and hung around Paris and London with no real purpose till the Great War started. I joined a special unit whose job it was to squelch the fears of the superstitious farm boys who made up the fighting ranks. The Tresanti were the biggest pains. New commanding officer, Jeremiah Covenant, led our unit in the hunt for their camp. We were ambushed. They came streaming out of the woods, waving swords and howling like banshees. I saw their leader holding a strange stone over his head, yelling weird words in a strange tongue. And just when I was going to pull the trigger, he glared right at me. A bright green flash came from his hand, and it bowled me over as my gun went off. I woke up in a hospital bed with severe burns. They told me Jeremiah and the unit had gone on without me, but he'd given me the shaman stone to keep. I hadn't given any of this much thought until I came back here to find this letter that Jeremiah wrote me almost six months ago, asking me to come back to Ireland and help him out. This is not something I'm dying to do, for it may mean the death of me. He saved my life though, so I owe it to him. Just hope it's not too late.